Praise the Lord, everybody. What's going on? Praise the Lord. God is good. Brandy and Antoine here. Um, yes, I want to tag Antoine in the video there. Good evening. We just came to you to talk to you about Building to Life Marriage Ministries and when our next meeting is going to be. And just to give you a little snippet of what we're going to be talking about. Yeah. So, um... I'm going to take away the comments for just right now because I'm always easily distracted. Well, I won't. I'll, so we can say hi and stuff, I guess. But um, just wanted to get on here and uh, give y'all a snippet of what we're going to talk about and invite you out to Building to Last Marriage Ministry September the 20th at 7 p.m. 7 to 9, probably 7 to 9-ish. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not prepared for this video. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we are. Praise the Lord. Uh -uh. <laughs> so, September 20th, 7 p.m., New Creation, 617 South Clay Street. And we want you to come. This is going to be amazing. We're going to talk about love. We're not just going to talk about, I love you, Antoine. But we're going to talk about how I should love Antoine. Loving your spouse the way God says, the way it says in the Bible, because I think sometimes we love them the way they think, the way we think we should love them, but loving them the way that God says is the hard part. Mm -hmm. There are four months months left in the year, and there are four scriptures in First Corinthians four through eight. The yeah, first one was thirteen. I'm sorry, yeah, First Corinthians 13, chapter thir chapter thirteen, verse four, four through, through eight, four through seven. Okay, four I got through you, seven. Yes, yeah, four through seven. My bad. Nah, you good. <laughs> <laughs> I'm making fun of him before we got on a live video. So, um, the first one is love is patient and kind. Love is not jealous or boastful or proud. Mm -hmm. That is the first one. And I know we like kind of talk about this cliche-ish, but we're not going to do that. We're going to dig deep. And we're going to talk about what does it mean that love is patient? and kind and that is not jealous or boastful or proud mm -hmm. what does that really mean and what does that really look like so yes i love antoine and i try to love him the way that he desires to be loved and respected but am i doing it the way that the word of god says so and the, and the um and and the thing about love is is more than just a feeling uh love love biblical biblical love is an action Mm -hmm. um, all love. All, all, all love, but you know we, because um, we well, be, first of all, God, God is love. So mm -hmm. God is the epitome of I was love. Just so, say that. so uh, every, every, every aspect of true love stems and comes from God first. Mm -hmm. So, um, so we we wanna we wanna give an understanding or uh, dig deeper into. Uh, what what kind of what that love looks like because uh, the Bible talks about how Jesus Christ uh, he loved us because we're his church he he looks at us as his bride mm -hmm. so he gave himself for her mm -hmm. or for his bride and that and love is a sacrificial love it's an action so um, so we're gonna look at we're gonna look at ways of how uh, and break break all of those scriptures down because I know we hear we hear them a lot uh, at weddings and uh, a lot of times when things are uh, uh, when people are uh, discussing uh, like a wedding or ceremonies and things of that sort and and we hear it all the time but uh, a lot of times we could overlook it and not really just pay attention to it but oh it's real nice to say uh, you know you hear it at a wedding or whatnot but I, we got to thinking. Do we really know what that means when 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 we quote those scriptures and what and, and how the Bible is yeah. uh, discussing or describing what love, what true love is? So we're gonna dig into that. Uh, and also, we you know we even looked at our ministry because our ministry is based on this scripture um, in First Corinthians thirteen. So we kind of want to dig into that and and break it down. So we all can have a deeper understanding of what that scripture means. Absolutely. So each each month for the rest of the year, uh, September through December, we're gonna uh, take we're gonna take one one scripture in the in those uh, four in those four. We're gonna really dissect them and, and dig into them, and, and hopefully after we're done with with uh, with these lessons, 
uh, lessons, we will have a, a deeper understanding of what it means to truly uh, love someone uh, the way God called us to love them. Amen. Yeah, and you know, and then not just for our spouses, but for everybody. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Like it is for our spouses for this. But I was thinking about this. Like, am I loving um, my coworkers this way? Am I loving people in general this way? You know what I mean? Like, am I being patient with people? Am I being kind? Am I being jealous? Am I being boastful? Uh, Am I being proud? Like, all of those things matter. And it really matters um, in a marriage setting also. So that's what we love you too, brother. But that's what we're going to talk about. Share this video. I know it's not very long tonight. But if you would share, share, share. We really want as many people to come out and be blessed. Mm -hmm. I'm not kidding you. It's gonna be. It's not gonna be a waste of your time. Everybody, bring a dish, whatever dish you want to bring. It. If you want to bring meat, if you want to bring a side, bring the drinks, what have you. If you can't, if not, come anyway. If your spouse can't come, please still come and take the information back. Yes, please still. And come. you won't be the only one. Yes. It's not gonna be like we all hugged up and you gonna be sitting over by yourself. No. It's not gonna be that. And, and something. I'm sorry, babe. Something we're gonna do differently because normally we break off. Uh, we break off into uh, awesome. groups with uh, mm-hmm. with the men going with the men. You know that's what we have been doing. But during this uh, during the summer break, when we took some time off to uh, to kind of uh, do uh, take some time off from the ministry, and we're we're so excited to that it's back on schedule, Amen. regular schedule. I missed you guys. Uh, we we missed you all too, and we, and, uh, and my work schedule and things of that sort. So it was a lot going on. Uh, my work schedule still kind of hectic right now, but. But I'm excited that that we're back uh, doing these ministry. We'll do more videos and do more Q and A's and things of that sort. But what we're going to do, we're going to bring the bring the uh, the husbands and the wives or the men and the women together. Yeah. I think sometimes uh, it's good to be separate and things of that sort because it's good for women to you know really break and, and really talk and get into some issues, especially for us brothers. Sometimes we don't really feel comfortable sharing things in front of our wives or our our significant others, but I feel for for this lesson, I think it would be it would be beneficial if we're all together, and so we can kind of hear hear things from uh, from the other from each other's perspectives. Mm-hmm. And um, also, just wanna just just say that um, um, a lot of times, you know, we we live in a we live in a very selfish selfish society right now and everything's selfish or self-driven or self-oriented everybody's about trying to get their own and and me 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 but one thing about a marriage is it's okay to it's okay to love yourself because we that's a given we ought to love ourselves but god calls us to love our spouses Mm -hmm. and sometimes we ought to we need to be considering their benefit sometimes above our own uh, I heard I heard a, a awesome um, a awesome lesson uh, from uh, Pastor Smokey Norfolk. I was listening to it actually right before I uh, when I got home from work and right before I was getting prepared for this uh, video. And he was just talking about how I'm not gonna take all his nuggets in, but it was so much. It was only a, a real short video, but it was very uh, power packed. Mm-hmm. But he was just talking about how, uh, but he was talking specifically about the five roles of a husband. But well, the one thing that grabbed me when he was talking about how um, he was talking about it in terms of how a husband <coughs> is, but but it, it, it works both ways. But specifically for a husband, our, our our job is to sacrifice for our spouses and our families to make sure that we are we're willing to do whatever it takes to make sure that they're taken care of. And sometimes what you need is put to the back burner. Sometimes it doesn't mean that your needs don't matter. It doesn't mean that nobody cares about what it is you need, yeah. but we were called to lead our families. We were called to be providers. We were called to be lovers. We were called to be protectors of our families. Mm-hmm. So sometimes, so a lot of times, um, it's, it's a lot of sacrifice and when it comes to love. Just like with Jesus, he loved us, and what was the ultimate way he showed us that he loved us? By sacrificing his life, so so when it and we ought to follow his example. So if we're following his example, we ought to be willing to sacrifice our lives in a spiritual sense. It may not always be a, a physical death, but we ought to be sacrificing our desires, our needs, our wants sometimes 
for the betterment of our spouse, for the betterment of our family. And when we do that, God will take care of what it is that we're needing or Amen. what we feel we need. And then God, God will That's bless, God will bless, yes, God will bless your spouse. He'll touch your spouse and enable your spouse to bless you in areas that you feel you're, you're lacking or you're needing because you're doing what you're supposed to do Amen. as a husband or a wife. Amen. So you can't, you, can't have a, uh, you can't have an attitude of, Amen. I love me and it's all about me. That's not going to work if you want a successful marriage or a successful relationship. It's not about you. It's not. It's not about you. And the thing about it is, at the end of the day, if... If you only solely concerned about yourself, where does that leave your spouse? Or if you're feeling like, what about me? What I'm not saying you shouldn't. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? Because you matter. You both matter. But if I'm always thinking, what about me? Everybody always talking about Antoine, Antoine. What about me? That's not, that's not God. That's not loving the way that the word of God says. That's not loving him that way. Mm-hmm. He, I try to meet his needs. He tries to meet my needs. Everybody's needs are getting met. Yep. And also something else why I want to just add to that too. You know, uh, I don't want to, I'm, I'm telling you, I don't want to, I don't want to get ahead of myself. Oh, but one Lord. thing I was, now one thing I was thinking about when it uh, talked about uh, love is not uh, jealous or envious. Like for mm-hmm. instance, if, if Brandy, if something's <laughs> good is happening for Brandy, that, that's, that's only beneficial for our family. For that's both only of us. that's Absolutely. that's that's benefiting me. If I like, win, you win. We won. Exactly. So so Brandy Brandy's Brandy's on the verge. Well, she's she's starting her she's starting a business and things of that sort. Last business. A, a last business. And now I know I know me. I'm not an entrepreneur in no sense. I know my lane. And 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 and, and to all entrepreneurs, God bless you all. I just know I I I don't mind working. You know I don't mind working for somebody. I I don't have ego issues or none of that. I just don't have the I don't have the smarts to to come up with a, yeah, a business do. plan and all. I'm just not that. I know how I'm wired. Yeah. So one thing about, uh, at for at grade to turn forty two, I've co- I've come to accept certain things about myself and I'm okay with that. But my wife is an entrepreneur. She has an entrepreneur mindset. So if if it wouldn't be beneficial to me to be jealous of her when she, or try to stop her shine. Because she's striving in an area of life where I'm, and I'm, I'm out here on the back of a garbage truck, and I love what I do. Make them. I, I love what I do. I know it's not a. I know it's not a. You said that. I know it's not. A, I know it's not the most glorious job, but I love what I do. Amen. So, so I'm, I'm good with that, and, and God is blessing me in that area. Thank you. But, but, but as far as my wife. It would it would it would behoove me not to be envious of her, because what she brings to the table only enhances your pot. It only enhances what it only enhances Amen. what what it is that we're trying to do and what it is we're trying to build. Amen. So we can't be jealous and envious of our spouses when yeah. someone else when our spouses may be receiving some 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 shine or some recognition mm-hmm. or receiving some accolades, and then you feel because there's plenty of times. I'll be out with Brandy, and this is the last thing I'm gonna say because I I said I wasn't gonna be long, and then you know how I do, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna really be short. One mm-hmm. sometimes when I'm out with Brandy, and ten people come up to her, and no, and, and, and she knows everybody, no. especially in Newburgh. So <laughs> it be all these friends and all this, and then and you know, and then and then I I get introduced at the end is like I'm just the other guy, you know what I'm saying. <laughs> Who 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 is this guy? Stop. You know that nobody knows me. Stop. No, I'm just playing. But but I'm just saying. So I, you can't. We can't. We can't. Everything. We can't be jealous or love. Love. Love is love is not envious. Love is not proud. Love is not boastful. All of those things is for the betterment. Love. True love always considers what's best for the the marriage. What's best for the That's relationship. Good. What's good. best for the family. That's that's what true love is, yes. and if it's if you're only focused on what I'm good, what what I'm bringing to the table, what I'm doing, and I'm so focused on myself, and we can, and if I'm so focused on Antoine, I'm losing sight on what my wife needs. I'm leaving. I'm 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 not giving to my wife what it is that she needs. I'm not giving her the proper attention because I'm so self-oriented, 
and we can't be that way. Yeah. So we're going to really dig into a lot of things. Uh, um, I, I'm really excited. I I'm hope really I hope excited. you are able to make it uh, September 20th, 7 o'clock. If you've never been, give us a chance. I'm not begging. I'm just saying you're missing out. We have a good time. We eat a little bit, then we get in the lesson. My pastor may say something. Sometimes he will, sometimes he won't. He's an awesome man of God. Him and his wife come. If you have children, bring them. They have a little area for them. Um, but I really, listen, when we talk about love is patient, somebody's feelings going to get hurt. I feel like mine might be one of them. But we're going to dig deep. Do you hear me? Mm -hmm. We're going to talk about what it means to be patient for real. <coughs> Excuse me. What it means to be kind for real. What it means to be jealous or boastful. And sometimes we may not even realize that we're doing those things. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Or proud or rude. And I cannot wait until we talk about love don't keep a record of wrongs. Mm. That one right mm. there. Baby. Baby. The last four months of the year are going to be amazing. I'm not kidding you. You don't want to miss Building to Last Marriage Ministry 617 South Clay Street. Um, also, we have a Facebook page for those who don't uh, who have who are not aware. Please go like. Yeah. Building please, to Last Please marriage go ministry. like our page. Uh, we'll keep you up to date on on things. Uh, uh, <clears throat> Uh, on things that's going on, things that we're, we're uh, working on, and just things, yeah. and whatever, whatever it is the Lord gives us to share, we'll we'll share it on that page as well. And and I pray for those who who like the page already. I pray it's been a blessing mm -hmm. to you. Mm -hmm. I know Brandy's been doing a lot of the posting lately, uh, but I intend to uh, get on there and do some more, do some more posting. Uh, just forgive me, y'all. My work schedule is just it's and just so hectic right now, but. I'm not going to keep using that as an excuse because I can make time for everything else if I want to. So, um, And if you don't have a church home, if you're looking, mm -hmm. New Creation Church of God is an amazing place. I'm really not just saying it. I love my pastor and first lady. I love their heart. Our children love it. And as we always say, don't watch us grow. Come grow oh. with us. Come Just take a visit. Um, Bible study is Wednesday at 7. Tomorrow will be a good day to start. Uh, and services at 11 p.m. sharp on Sunday morning. And we'd love to see you there. Oh, and also, too, um, September 22nd, um, I will actually be uh, blessed with the opportunity to... Uh, uh, Make clothes. I will be... Sorry about that. I will be blessed with the opportunity to bring the word on September 22nd. So I'm excited about Preach. that. I'm Preach. always excited to uh, uh, when when the Lord allows my pastor to uh, when my pastor allows me uh, to to stand in and, and share and break on. And uh, the, the, the Lord's really been dealing with me on a particular message that uh, that um, that I'm gonna I'm be excited. bringing on. So I'm really I'm really excited <laughs> about that. So please pray for me on that. But please, uh, not just the day I preach, but any. Yeah, uh, any any Sunday, uh, it's an open open invitation. And, and and let me, I'm sorry, baby. Let me also say this. Um, I um, so I um, our church is it's a loving church. Uh, loving. Small. Uh, it, it's 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 a small small congregation, love but it. but we love it. You know, we love it. Uh, um, our family has been blessed uh, in the year that we've been there, and we've kind of we've kind of, we've We've connected with the uh, with the ministry prior to us joining, um, maybe about two years ago. But uh, God led us to become a part of this ministry last year, last August, as a matter of fact. And it's been just a it's just been just a tremendous blessing really uh, to our uh, to our lives. And and also too, I just want to just shout out uh, my pastor, uh, Pastor Gerald Jones. Uh, Gerald A. Jones. Uh, he he's an awesome man of God. Awesome. And he and his first lady. They 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 were so they were so thankful for the ministry that the Lord's given us as far as the marriage ministry. Mm -hmm. They see our passion. They're uh, uh, they they're just as excited about um, our marriage and ministry as we are. Mm -hmm. uh, so uh, that that's that's a beautiful thing. But um, I j just want to just uh, just invite you all out again. That that's all. I and really you don't have to be a member of New Creation to come. 
married, engaged, seriously dating, if you're thinking about it, come on. We want to see you there. Married, engaged, seriously dating. We want to see you September the 20th. We want to see you for the rest of the month. All four uh, for the rest of the year. The four months for the rest of the year. Please come. Uh, you're going to love it. I'm just really excited. You're going to love it. It's going to be great. You never know what crazy thing I'm going to do. We know Antoine is always calm. Y'all know I'm a little crazy. It could be a game. It could be a surprise speaker. It could be anything. You don't want to miss it. I promise. Okay? So we'll see you September the 20th with your uh, with your best uh, side dish or your best uh, dish. Just bring something, whatever you want to bring. It's a potluck kind of a thing. So we look forward to seeing you. All right. And also one more thing, please. Uh, if at the end at the end of the video or whatnot, please go in the comment sections if you have any prayer concerns or yes. anything you want us to be praying for. Uh, if if you don't if you don't uh, want to put it in the comments, you can inbox me, uh, husbands or uh, uh, brothers or boyfriends. Inbox me, the ladies. Inbox Brandy. Yes. And and we 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 will uh, pray for those. Or if you have any questions, or you think think you want us to uh, talk about or deal with, it never or a question you didn't really want to put out publicly, um, please feel free to uh, shoot that to us, and we'll address it. Thank you all for your time. We pray God's blessing upon you. Amen. And um, thank you again, and hope to see you on September the twentieth, Friday, September twentieth at seven o'clock. God bless you. Good night.